Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Online The Borg Playthrough. Now we successfully snuck our way into the Gamma Quadrant to speak with Wei Yun Tin and to see about possibly getting some help uh, from the Dominion with their errant fleet that has managed to take Deep Space Nine. So uh, let's go ahead and start the facility 4028 see about getting this uh, founder released. Stands for Minshara, whatever that means. I don't know. I don't know what Minshara means. Good night. Thanks, dude. The Federation Council has authorized the release of the founder from the detention facility where she is currently being held. I need someone the founder will respect to complete the transfer. You're the best candidate for the task. I don't expect any problems. But I didn't expect Jem Hadar from the past to crash the Borg conference either. So take my recommendations with a grain of salt. The important thing is the safety of Aaron and the Founder. We need their help if we want to end this standoff without more bloodshed. Again, Aaron, but it's Wayud. Okay, before we do that, we need to swap back to the Borg Juggernaut. Oh, I should have checked to see if I had, uh, things. Oh, this is all jacked up, isn't it? Okay, uh, let's get that back up. Oh, this is terrible. I hate how it does this. Impact. Why is this here? Oh, good lord. It's there, that's there. This is a problem with this game that it does this. Oh, that's that's already sorry on there. That is there. We have that up. That was weird. Feedback pulse, fleet support. Uh, give her all she's got. Uh, yeah, that's on there. Intrusive energy reductions there. Kobayashi Maru. Scorpion fighters, American repairs, they did inversion. Uh, where is that one? Yeah, that's there. And at least torpedo that goes back. And this there. Plasma disintegrator is there. Okay, we have the new quantum. Bit matter there. Then you're refracting. Relocate mines. Rotate shield frequencies there. Science. What's what all did it take out? Like Jesus. Okay, that's there. Tachyon beam. Temporal. God, I hate how it does this. Actually, a lot of stuff that could honestly be slotted into the rotation. So why, why not? That's so weird. Did somebody get unslotted? Yep, that's what happened. Fuck's sake. So, 
did we really, I guess, really did have winter meat here. Uh, let's make you tactical team. Shields. Or do we want you here and then winter mute here? Oh, why did this get all jacked up? Yeah, because we had Tech Pattern Delta Omega. Um, what did I have here? Jesus. Target Shield subsystem, that's what it was. Okay. That's where all my abilities went. Okay. Hey, what's up, Quang? Haven't seen you in a while. Just checking in on everybody doing good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. How are you, man? Okay, Delta. Get Delta back in, Omega's in. Beam overload. Doing pretty good. Uh, computer struggling, IRL thriving. I totally understand. Alright, where's all my other tacticals? Target shields. Okay, tactical team. Yep, yeah, that made it in. Torpedo high yield, that made it in. Okay. Alright, good. We're back. We're back in business. God, I hate how it does that. Alright. Let's move on to visiting hours. Oh, we need to we need to make the difficulty back now that we're no longer in a shuttle. There we go. That is a recurring problem in this game, in uh, where certain things will unslot traits and abilities and stuff. Which that reminds me, I should check traits. Okay, we're we're good at the moment. All right, the Ayala system. Information redacted by order of Starfleet Intelligence. Really should move this lower. There we go. Captain, we've arrived at the designated coordinates. I'm detecting a large structure on the asteroid. We'll need to approach before we can hail them. That's cool looking. Hello, Admiral Red Queen. Your authorization to visit has just come through from Starfleet Command. We don't get many visitors here, so this is quite an occasion. However, we are detecting two ships in orbit. Why is there a Jem'Hadar vessel? We have a Vorta guest. Wayun, we have a Vorta guest. Wayun is here to see the founder. That is most irregular, Admiral. Very well. I will permit you to beam down with one of your officers. The Vorta, however, will have to remain on his ship. Come speak to me, and if everything is in order, I will allow him to enter the facility. Oh yeah, all the all the the ward and all the security guards are all photonics. Founders are wise in all things. The Dominion has endured for over 2,000 years, and we will continue to do so. I make contact with Facility 4028. Excellent. I'm ready to beam down immediately. The 
Founder has been trapped among solids for far too long, and the Great Link is diminished without her august presence. There's, there's the matter of our transporter signal, however. The station is blocking it. Perhaps you can enlighten me here? I'm beginning to feel unwelcome. I'm here to reach a mutually beneficial solution. It's not that you're unwelcome, but there are security concerns. Security concerns? Really? You and I both know that the Dominion could conquer this facility if we so desired. And yet here we are, observing the peace. I'm sure Starfleet has a number of clever defenses here. But as we've proven in the past, even your best defended locations are vulnerable to a squad of Jem'Hadar warriors. I'm here to reach a mutually beneficial solution. Well, you just wait here until I speak to the warden. Very well. I wait. You do understand that my patience is not an endless commodity, yes? When it is exhausted, I'm afraid we shall enter a more unpleasant stage of our relationship. Let us hope the situation is resolved before that occurs. Wayne's not happy, but he's agreed to wait, sir. We're ready to transport on your orders, Captain. Let's bring... Let's bring Glad or let's bring Hal. Captain, the Warden is waiting for us in Isolation Zone A. According to the information we received, if we follow the blue line, it should lead us right to him. Okay, we got our... Oh no, we have, we have our two abilities. Okay. Anti-chamber A. Authorized visitors must report to the warden. Follow the blue line to isolation zone A. Processing zone A. ISIS access granted. How may I assist you? I am ISIS, the Inmate Security and Information System. Authorized visitors must report to the Warden. Follow the blue line to Isolation Zone A. Visitor Red Queen, recognized. Visitor Authorization, verified. Access Level 2, authorized. Welcome to for Facility 4028, Admiral. Please report to the Warden before proceeding into the facility. Lower Force Field, extend walkway. You may proceed. Isolation Zone A. Authorized visitors must report to the world. Welcome, Admiral. The blue line to Is there anything I can do A. to assist you? What can you tell me about Facility 4028? Not many people know about this place, Admiral, and that is intentional. We are a Federation penal institute designed to house the most high profile and most dangerous prisoners. Most are quite violent or disruptive, but a few are targets for attacks that we need to keep here for their own safety. Because of the danger, this facility is almost completely staffed by photonic authorized personnel. There are only the a warden. handful of humanoids oh, authorized to work here. Five, now that Counselor Fur has left us, and even they aren't present at the facility full time. What should I call you? Is it just the warden? <laughs> a bit disconcerting, isn't it? I understand that the EMH Mark I had the same problem, but in this instance, instead of the programmers forgetting to give me a name, it was intentional. The thought was that I would be less approachable, and therefore our guest wouldn't consider me a, to be a Otherwise target for manipulation. Or perhaps it was Follow their little the joke. You've met ISIS? I find it quite intriguing that our computer received a name, but I and the rest of the photonic staff did not. I'm here to see the founder. There's Belle! Welcome in, Belle. How'd your stream go? Ha! 
Authorized visitors must report Someone to the clip that, please. Follow the blue line to isolation <laughs> zone A. Acquired four mask shards. Achievement got. <laughs> I'm here to see the founder. Oh, really? That is quite unusual. I thought you were the Starfleet representative I requested to speak to inmate 53160. He's been waiting for a, quite some time. I need to verify your authorization to see the Founder. That will take a few minutes. Until the then, would you be willing to speak to inmate 53160? He's in Isolation Ward A. You can get there from this area. Okay. Extending walkway. Who's in here? Inmate nine eight six three nine. Name unknown. Species undine. Type class one. Sentence pending. Requirements isolation ward protocols. Full access for Starfleet intelligence. Other visitors must be approved by Wharton. Access to technology restricted. Must be accompanied by rapid response team at all times when out of cell. Streamlit Gray, still BRB, just wanted to answer the question. Oh, okay. Need to be something other than water to drink. Alright. Notes. Infiltrator impersonating Captain Tavix of the USS Cochrane. Removed from ship along with three other Undine on Stardate 73967.3. Testing of isomorphic capabilities remains inconclusive. Remanded to Facility 4028 for detention and debriefing. Refer to Order 54937-Drake-6 for details. Take a look at him. I think he's got his own little biome in there. Inmate 53160. Name Amar Singh. Species Human Augment. Type Class 6. Sentence Life with the Possibility of Perot. Requirements Isolation Ward Protocols. Visitors must be approved by Warden. Recreational materials must be approved by Warden. No ex access to computer terminals or technology allowed. Notes, a brilliant scientist who has dedicated himself to creating a perfect species through gene manipulation. Two prior convictions for illegal experimentation and performing illegal genetic enhancements. Expert in multi-species augmentation. Finally, a real person! You've tried speaking- I've tried speaking to these holograms, but... They do not age, they do not tire, they cannot be harmed. They cannot understand the vital importance of my work. I need to continue my research. I must have research materials, a lab, test subjects, access to a computer and the files at Memory Alpha. It's all in my request. Give me these few things and I can, ex I can change the galaxy. Why should Starfleet let you continue your research? Genetic manipulation is illegal. The genetic code code holds no secrets for me. I can cure diseases, extend lifespans, make the perfect warriors. Admiral, the Federation is at war. Many lives are lost every day, but what if I could make the people on your crew stronger and more resilient? What if your reaction time was increased tenfold or your body could heal from almost any wound? I could create perfection. All I need is time and resources. I beat you to it! We Borgified the whole crew. I'll make a report to Starfleet Command, but I can't promise anything. And that's it. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to assist you? I did as you ask. May I see the Founder now? Of course. I verified your authorization and granted permission for your Vorta friend to transport as well. 
However, he must remain outside the isolation zones. I realize this is an unusual situation, but security protocols must be maintained. We're losing our most famous inmate. I suppose I should be a little sad, but it's not like she was very easy to get to know. She's very different from our other inmates. I don't suppose that she has much use for us. The Founder is being held in Isolation Zone B. If you follow the red line into the facility, you'll pass through Main Holding and then another processing area. Beyond that is Isolation Zone B. Isolation Zone A. Founders are wise in all things. Did you know your psychographic profile is required reading for all Vorta field supervisors? It's quite a fascinating study. To say you've had an unusual career would be an understatement. <laughs> Follow me. I'll take you to the Founder. I'm happy to hear it. Despite the delays, you're fulfilling your end of the deal adequately. I would like to remind you that the safety of the Founder is now your responsibility. If she is harmed, the Dominion will have no choice but to respond. I think you'll find that Karo Khan will be the least of your problems if that occurs. Let's go. Okay, we gotta go up. Let's check out some of these other holding cells. Uh, if there's anything we can interact with, of course. Oh, here we go. Inmate seven nine nine six two. Name Taurus. Species Romulan. Type Class 9. Sentence pending. Requirements interactions with other enemies must be uh, in other inmates must be monitored. Private recreation and study access. Zeta 9 protocols in effect. Jammers must be active wherever inmate is present. Communications with inmate must be approved by warden. Access to technology must be approved by warden. Notes, Commander of the Romulan Warbird IRW Hakona, and present at the discovery of the planet Iconia. Appointed as second in command to Fleet Commander Tomalak in 2382. Defected to Imperial Rom Romulan State a year later. Commander has remaining Romulan military force Commander of remaining Romulan military forces after destruction of Homeworld. Named Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire in 2394, deposed by Sela on star date 80953.96. Access denied. Access to inmate 79962 is denied by the order of the warden. Taurus. Inmate 79478. Name, James Fadi Mehra, also known as Princep Khan. Welcome back, Bill. Species, Human Augment. Type, Class 6. Sentence, 20 years without the possibility of parole. Requirements, interactions with other inmates must be monitored. Private recreation and study access. Guard required at all medical treatments and counseling sessions. Communications with inmate must be approved by warden. Access to technology must be approved by Ward. Notes. Leader of the radical augment group known as the Children of Khan, born 2374 on Mars, underwent accelerated criti critical neural pathway engineering on Andigium Prime at age 8. Further enhancement to physical abilities, reflexes, vision, and stamina followed two years later. Subject exhibits extreme antisocial and psychopathic tendencies. Bipolar symptoms may be due to difficulty processing neural input. 
Manipulative to an extreme degree. Caution is recommended in all interactions. Remanded to Lowe's Institute on start date 70773.7 for long-term therapy. While there led a patient uprising that resulted in the deaths of all staff on site, the patients, now calling themselves the Children of Khan, then attempted to enter Romulan space. Apprehended on start date 84310.7, Mera was Mera is too dangerous to be housed in a psychiatric facility. Remanded to facility 4028 until suitable arrangements make a transfer possible. Access denied. So you had to make a twitch too, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the other side. I'm gonna do it like this, so I'm gonna have to do backtracking anyway. We want to catch all the references. Yep. Inmate 51099. Name Kasta, species Gorn, type class 2. Sentence 40 years with the possibility of parole. Requirements diet plan 85 beta, non replicated food. Meals served in cell. Bite restraints must be in place at all times when out of cell. Notes: Tactical officer and battle leader of Gorn vessel Sayaza, captured by Starfleet personnel in Argelia system on star date 86450.4, convicted of murder of 17 non-combatant civilians in attack on SS Celestia, remanded to New Zealand penal colony where he attacked and critically injured two guards. Transferred to facility 4028 for remainder of sentence. Not eligible for prisoner exchange. That's a big dude! So numerous things. Name Alavant. Species Lethian. Type Class 4. Sentence 28 years with the possibility of parole. Requirements holographic interface only. Hostile telepath. Protocol Zeta 8 in effect. Notes Apprehended on Lesepia on star date 86302.4. Convicted of hostile telepathy, mind control, and attempted murder of Central Bank of Lesepia official. Suspected of eight attacks on financial officials in Bullion Sector. Previous conviction for mind control and robbery on Capellia 4, where he used telepathy to read the mind of a Janus mining manager and gained access codes to the company's Topoline vaults. Well, when you said we shouldn't let things get to Hainarl, I thought you meant the sassing and teasing because Helga got mean with Argyll. Watch the link and realize it. Yes! <laughs> yes, I was referencing the shrine. <laughs> I was teasing you, of course. Inmate 91407. Name Makan. Species Cardassian. Type Class 5. Sentence 35 years with the possibility of parole. Requirements, interactions with other inmates must be monitored. Private recreation and study access. Guard required at all medical treatments and counseling sessions. Outside communications must be approved by warden. Notes. Commander of True Way Strike Team that attacked Colony on Claystron 2. Convicted of fatal bombing of amusement center in Lakarian City. Suspected in string of attacks on Bajoran freighters and attempted infiltration of USS Ab Eperi. Incarcerated at for Facility 4028 at request of Cardassian government. All communications about inmate 91407 must be reviewed by Amara Lernan of the Cardassian Ministry of Justice. We're just looking up everybody. Uh, I haven't heard any comments yet about what we worked on last night. No comments as of yet, I'm afraid.
Guess it was subtle enough, which is a good thing. <laughs> Processing zone B. Whoops. Unnecessary tactical roll. Lower force field, extend walkway. You may proceed. Isolation zone B. Extend secondary walkway. Extending walkway. I feel like I'm missing something here. Hang on, am I missing an ability? Oh, the modulated energy blast. That's what it was. Yeah, I'll be alright. So you know that Stream Raiders is ready? Yes, I'm aware that Stream Raiders is ready. Remember, on these uh, YouTube video uh, streams, we are doing them in between where I can edit them out. Inmate 91856. Name unknown. Species Tholian. Type class class nine. Sentence pending. Requirements Tholian environmental protocols. ISIS monitoring required. Jammers must be active in inmate cell. Notes. Found an escape pod on Stardate 86187.4. Brought to Deep Space K7 for medical treatment. While there, attempted to download information on ship movements and military cap capabilities from Starfleet database. Held at Facility 4028 pending completion of negotiations with Tholian government for reparation. ISIS expert. We can't see shit in there. He is in there, though. Like, I've, I've, done, I've done clipping and stuff before, and... He's there. Just can't see him. Access granted. Name unknown. Species changeling. Type class 10. Sentence pending. Requirements level 8 force field in effect at all times. Visitors must be approved by warden and federation council. Outside communications restricted. Inmate not allowed out of cell without warden's approval. Notes. Leader of Dominion forces during the Dominion War. Surrender to Federation custody after signing the Treaty of Bajor. Re rehabilitation and therapy efforts have been ineffective. Medical personnel not equipped to deal with changing changeling physiology. Utilize subroutine Bashir 98 before any examinations. Access granted. <laughs> Access to, to force field controls granted, Admiral. Please lower the field now if you wish to interact with this inner this inmate. What do you want, Salad? Time is meaningless. I will endure. Founder, we have a situation at Deep Space Nine. Since you are here asking for aid, your dilemma must be serious. At least for you. What are you prepared to offer in return for my assistance? And what guarantee do I have that you will fulfill your end of any bargain we might reach? I have little trust for your kind. And with good reason. Oh yeah, I saw Quang earlier too. That's nice. Quang's awesome. What is that human saying? To learn about a people, learn how they treat their prisoners? I have been here for many years. And I have learned much in that regard. Salads are irrational, fearful creatures. You cannot be trusted. Time is meaningless. I will endure. Why did you choose to surrender to the Federation? My captivity was the price I paid for the life of my people. We were dying, infected with a virus created by Starfleet intelligence. Odo cured me, but when I linked with him, 
I knew that he needed his justice. Otherwise, he would have stayed with the solids, stayed with that woman. Therefore, I surrendered myself so he would take the cure to the Great Link. Once he joined it, I knew he would never leave. I am immortal. A few years here is a minor inconvenience. Those lost years are worth far less than the prizes I've gained in return. Don't usually see him outside of Kafka Digi's chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Time is meaningless. I will endure. Aforda came here with me. I will take you to him. Then you mean to release me? Interesting. The price of my freedom, I trust, will not be insignificant. I will trust you, despite my inclination to do otherwise. I will return to the Great Link and to Odo. We have much to discuss. Lead the way. I wish to see what you solids have in store for me after all these years. Let's go. Founder, your ordeal is at an end. Wayun, your line lives on. Good. Let us leave this place. Founder, we have taken DS9 in your name and are prepared to extend our campaign throughout the Quadrant. Give your blessing to our victory. We are yours to command. I know you, Karakan. Your fleet failed us in the battle for Deep Space Nine. We lost because you did not arrive. The fleet was diverted, passing through the anomaly. We did not... I need soldiers, Karakan, not excuses. You failed the Dominion once. I will not give you the opportunity to do so again. No! It can't! Ah! Attack! Kill everyone but the Founder! We are dead! We go into battle to reclaim our lives! I think not. Did you really think I came here alone? Loyal Jem Hadar! Defend your god! Kill these traitors! And they decloak behind him. Can't wait, you cowering behind me. Now there's Borg in a Federation prison facility. <laughs> Captain, I've lost contact with the Borg Juggernaut 001. I'm detecting power failures all over the station, and there are signs of weapons fire, but there's something blocking my sensors. I can't get a complete reading. We're near the secondary ISIS core. That might be the best place to determine what's happening and what we can do to get back to the ship. ISIS is offline. Emergency protocols engaged. Antichamber B. I hope this doesn't bug. ISIS core. A diagnostics. ISIS is offline. Emergency protocols engaged. ISIS is offline. Emergency protocols engaged. ISIS security override. I'm sorry, Admiral. It is not possible to override emergency protocols at this time. Primary ISIS core is offline. This secondary core has limited func functionality. Under order until order is restored, facility 4028 is in lockdown. Hollow matrices are offline. Communications are blocked. 
A transporter inhibited inhibition field has been activated, and the shuttle bay is protected by Isaac a class 10 offline. force field. Emergency protocols engaged. What do I need to do to restore the primary ISIS core? Two protocols are accepted to restore order in the case of a catastrophic event in the facility. If prisoners are subdued using either lethal or non-lethal protocols, you will then be able to reboot the primary ISIS core. Tell me about the non-lethal protocol. Non-lethal option selected. Emergency site-to-site -site transport is available. If you subdue prisoners and then tag line. them for transport, I will be able to move them to a safe holding zone. When order is restored, you will be able to bring me completely back online. The holographic can, staff can take it from there. Uh, tell me about the lethal protocol. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna simulate them all. Lethal option selected. In the instance of a complete loss of control of the facility, Starfleet Command has authorized use of lethal of a lethal protocol. While the loss of life will be regrettable, it has been deemed preferable to allowing the residents of Facility 4028 to escape. Inmates must return to their cells in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so is a violation of facility regulations. Let's use this console real quick. Emergency Hollow Matrix Control. You found the controls for the Emergency Hollow Matrix. With your engineering training, you think you can do a partial reboot of the Hollow Matrix and reactivate the prison's holographic riot guards. You'll need to realign the Hollow Matrix circuits in main holding to make it work, but this will give you an advantage against Karakon's forces and any inmates who are attempting to escape. Restricted. We're gonna assimilate the entire prison facility. Nice catch. Stupid ass Pokemon. <laughs> Violence Got him. against facility regulation. All inmates are ordered to return to their cells. why I wanted to do the lethal option so I could have more drones. Weapons fire detected. Possession of weapons is a violation of facility regulations.
teleport around. <laughs> Inmates must return to their cells in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so is a violation of facility regulations. Violence is against the terrific regulations. All inmates are ordered to return to their cells. All right, next level. Oh, the frickin' The Undine here too, shit. Unfortunately, we can't assimilate Undine. Which sucks. Lanky boy, we assimilated. Access restricted. Still never did get to do the engineering thing for some reason. I don't know why. Oh well. We didn't need the holograms. We meet again, Admiral. Now this is an interesting situation. You should return to your cell. And why would I want to do that? No one is attacking me. The facility is in chaos, and give it a little luck, I might be able to stroll out the front door. By this time next week, I could be back at Cleon Space, continuing my research. We'll never get outside the facility. Oh, really? I know this place has a space dock. We used it when we I arrived. All I need to do is get a shuttle and escape. There's no way out, and I can't guarantee your safety unless you return to your cell. Stop your incessant yammering and let me think. You have a ship in orbit, but so do the Jim Hadar, and there's a 90% chance that one or both of those vessels will fire on a ship leaving the facility. I could use the transporters, but there's an 86% chance that ISIS has cut off access. However, I could circumvent ISIS in approximately 3.2 minutes. Very well. I'll return to captivity. But only if you were promised to report that I did so willingly. I need every advantage I can get if I am to continue my work. 
Tagamar Singh. Looks Prisoner a bit different. Secured. Transporting to safe zone now. <laughs> I made it so it would be a little bit more visible. Well, for starters, it gave him eyebrows, or at least made the eyebrows the same color as his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Some blush in the cheeks, a little pink nose. We're going to be doing more edits later, too. Welcome, Admiral. Is there anything I can do to assist you? Warden? Warden! Speak to me! I see you, Admiral. It's just... Ah, there it is. Diagnostic cycle complete. It took a few seconds for Isis to bring me completely back online. I apologize for the delay. Can you take it from here? Certainly. Now that Isis is online, getting the remaining prisoners back in their cells and settled down should be trivial. I've also contacted the closest starbase and requested an engineering team. We'll be back at peak operating capacity in no time. Thank you, Admiral, for your assistance. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Excellent. I'll be leaving with the Founder now. Oh, I see it now. I looked at the past stream to compare it. Yep. Thank you. Definitely easier to see the features. Yeah. Well, I was looking when I did the uh, the highlight from when the uh, the megalodon and the skelly ship attacked me uh, in last stream. I realized, other than my eyes, I look like I have no face. I'm like I should fix that. <laughs> so we made some edits. Captain, I'm detecting multiple Jim'Hadar ships, and there are more on an intercept course. I'm contacting the fleet at Bajor, but I don't know if... Incoming hail, sir. It's the lead Jim'Hadar ship. Karakhan wants to speak to you. Put it on screen. Surrender the Founder and your pet, and you will survive, Captain. Refuse, and I will destroy your ship. He's bluffing. He can't harm a founder. I can, and I will, Forta. Victory is life. Go to warp while you still can. We'll hold them off. No! I will have the founder! All ships, attack! Shields of 47% and falling! Evasive maneuvers! Pattern shown six! Launch torpedoes! Full spread! Sir! We won't be able to hold them off forever, Captain! Get the Founder back to DS9 now. We're still inside the ship. <laughs> that could have gone better, but I know you did the best you could. A check of Facility 4028 shows several prisoners unaccounted for. Most will be able to pick up with ease, but there are two high-priority inmates missing. Taurus and someone named James Fadi Mera. I don't know anything about Mera, but Taurus had help. An Iconian energy signature was detected near her cell. She could be anywhere now. Rescue teams are already in the Ayala system, looking for survivors from the battle. The Jem'Hadar took some hits too, but from what we know, Karokan made it back to Deep Space Nine. This isn't over yet. Uh, let's take the personal shield, why not? 
Congratulations, Admiral. Woo! Level up. Let's go. All right. What can we? Strategist is up. Miracle worker. Oh, we've already completed all this. We're just filling things in. All right, and that is Facility 4028. For those of y'all joining us on YouTube, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. Uh, swing on by and say hello if you uh, like the channel and you want to see some of the other stuff that we do, like Sea of Thieves and other games like Baldur's Gate 3. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love y'all. Bye-bye!